Good morning. There's Gentry and Gemma and Carol. Good morning. Morning. Hola. Hello. You guys have your net and toys ready? Mm -hmm. yep. It's over there. All righty. Who is everybody this morning? Oh, look, it's Stella. <laughs> was that Brady? <laughs> yeah, 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 that was Brady. Hi, hey, Carly. You guys have your net and stuff? We got our net. You can make it any way you want. Well, do you have some toys you can throw, Stella? Yeah, yeah I, just, I just use Brady's toys. I just use Brady's toys. Oh, okay, there you go. Because yeah. I have a lot of breakable toys. So, yeah. Hey, Lee. Hey, look, why aren't you in use? Everybody, everybody behind you, like, is like glitching out and in. No, I can't because you guys are touching. Everybody behind you is like clicking. Hey! Hey. Let's go. Oh, you're down there. Good morning. Good morning. It's glad to see you, Stella. Hey, boy. Whose baby is talking? Jensen? Yeah. Aww. Yeah. Hi, little buddy. <laughs> How's everybody yeah. doing this morning? <laughs> Can you see something in my coffee? All right. Lee's on. Everybody's so talkative this morning. All right. Okay. Bracken, do you have your net and toys ready? I'm so covered up with a blanket and that one time like this. Gotta get them on. Hey, hey, Dad! Oh, yep. We got Gentry and Timmons ready. Yeah, Mom had to make a net because we don't have one. Well, hurry up and make one because we're going to start. Yeah, she made it before. Oh, but there you go. Way to go, Leah. Oh, yeah, right. you just took the laundry basket and put yarn over it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me see. All right. <laughs> All right, are y'all ready to get started? Y'all look so tired this morning. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. I'm still going now. All right, I'm going to start sharing some stuff. Here, I'm going. All right, this is me. All right. So. Welcome to another incredible day in your virtual job. All right. So my name is Nikki, and I'm so excited. I'm echoing this. I'm not. 
<laughs> um, I'm so excited you're here today. So we've been talking about determination this month and how we get unstuck, right? No, determination is deciding it's worth it to finish what you started. So it can be tough for us to be unstuck from some sticky situations, but God is always there to help us. So I've got another sticky game for us today that you're going to just love. I know you will. So grab your toys. Where's your guys' toys? I'm just giving you an example. Let me go ahead and... Stop. All right. So, I'm going to give you an example. See? You're going to get your toy. You're going to need to move out of the way. Right? Yeah, I can see. All right? And you're going to try to get it into your net. All right? There's our net right there. But it's not that easy as just tossing it to your case story. So, it's all the way back there. So, to make things a little more interesting, you can't just toss them over. You have to throw it backward like this. I'm going to try. Yes. <laughs> so you have to put your your uh, net somewhere away from you. You have to stand backwards from it, and you have to try to get your toys stuck in the net. Right? The Olivia and Sophie are gonna. Is one of y'all gonna hold up your net while you do it, or how are you gonna do it? Oh, okay, you're going to put it on here. There you go. So, hey, Stella, you could use that basket behind you to see if you, or that little shelf behind you to see if you could toss toys onto that. Toss it backwards. Carly, do you have something ready? All right, as soon as Olivia and Sophie are ready, I will start the timer. All right. So just give me a thumbs up when you're ready. Guys, ready. Maggie's ready. Jackson's ready. You don't have a net. You can't find the net. Ella's ready. All right, Libby and Sophie, are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, ready? Get near backwards. Get set. Go. Oh, we got one. We got one. Oh, go, go. Faster, faster. You're down to 40 seconds, guys. 40 seconds. Got two. Got a break. Go faster. 30 seconds. 30 seconds, get those toys stuck in that net. Woo! Don't look. Don't look behind you, Gentry. 20 seconds. Go, get it again. Got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job, guys. Come back to the screen. How'd y'all do? Did you get it stuck in the net like that? Nope. We got three. <laughs> we only got three, and we had three kids tossing, so it wasn't exactly easy for them. But one, one, one. for Bailey. Who else got one? Oh, look, well, Gentry's still catching. Or catching. 11, 7, 8, 9. Awesome. You guys did awesome. Lee, are you ready? We got 12. 12. Woo! Whoa. That's a lot. Were you peeking over your shoulder? <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna mute all of you guys real quick and unmute Lee. And we don't the one well unless you want them unmuted. Lee, do you want them all unmuted? No. All right, so we're gonna mute you and then unmute there. All right, it's all you, Lee. Good morning. I'm excited. 
excited to continue God's big story with you. We left off last week when the church was just starting to grow, and after Jesus died, rose from the dead, and went to heaven, we saw how God, God sent the Holy Spirit to the believers. When Peter spoke to a big crowd about Jesus, 3,000 people put their faith in Jesus on that day alone. Every day, more and more people were choosing to believe, and the believers were sharing their lives together. They helped each other by sharing their homes, their food, so that everyone had what they needed. So one day, Peter and John were going to the temple. Now you know me, Peter. A man who couldn't walk was being carried to the temple gate. So we're going to pretend our little puppy dog couldn't walk. So we need to get you to get him to the um, gate. So every day someone would put this man at the gate, and he would beg from people who were going into the temple courtyard. The man couldn't walk and asked Peter and John for money. So, your puppy dog, let's ask him for some money. Please, 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 please. And listen to what Peter said to the man. I don't have any silver or gold, but I'll give you what I do have. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, get up and walk. Peter helped the man up, and suddenly the man felt strong. He jumped up to his feet and started to walk. He was so excited that he jumped for joy as he praised God. So God is awesome. People began to hear what had happened, and soon a big crowd gathered. It felt, and this is what Peter said to the people. Fellow Israelites, why does this surprise you? Why do you all stare at us? It is not as if we made this man walk by our own power or godliness. The God of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, has, has done this. The people must have been shocked and in that maze. And maybe they kind of went, ah, because they were so shocked, right? Can you all do that? Ah. And Peter went on to, Peter went on. He said, this man whom you see and know was made strong because of his faith in Jesus' name. Faith in Jesus has healed him completely. The religious leaders were angry. So they weren't happy with what Peter and with Peter and John because Peter and John were talking about Jesus and the leaders they didn't believe in Jesus. They didn't believe that he was the Son of God. So they showed up to the temple with authority to arrest Peter and John to put them in prison. So here back is your name. So the next day, a group of religious leaders, including the high priest and his family, gathered together. They ordered the guards bring Peter and John to them. So Peter and John, get out of jail for a minute. The religious leaders wanted to question how these men have the power to heal someone. Peter was filled with the Holy Spirit. He said to them, rulers and elders of the people, are you asking us to explain our actions today? Do you want to know why we were kind to a man who couldn't walk? Are you asking how he was healed? But listen to this. You are all the people of Israel. You know Jesus Christ of Nazareth to the cross. But God raised him from the dead. It is through Jesus' name that this man stands healed in front of you. Peter also explained to the leaders that Jesus is God's only son, the Savior of the world. He said, he can't be saved by believing in anyone else. God had given people no other name under heaven that will save them. The leaders saw how bold and brave Peter and John were. They realized that Peter and John were normal, ordinary men. They didn't have any special training to talk about God. The reason they were so brave was because they had actually been with Jesus. The leaders were stuck. They couldn't say that the miracle didn't happen. Everyone could see that the man had been healed. So they gave Peter and John a warning never to speak in Jesus' name again. But Peter and John replied, we have to speak about the things we've seen and heard. The religious leaders couldn't find a reason to keep Peter and John in prison, so they let them go. So, good job. 
confident and bold. They were sure of what God wanted them to do. The Holy Spirit gave them the courage they needed to take the, on the tough things, right? So you see, oops, I went back. You see, P Peter and John knew it was their job to share the good news about Jesus. They knew that Jesus was the one they had been waiting for, the one whom God had promised from the beginning. So remember, keep going even when it gets tough. So when things get tough, you can decide to make the wise choice. You can choose to keep giving you your very best effort and decide to finish what you've started. For example, if you've ever tried to learn a musical instrument like piano, it seems like it'll be so easy and so fun, but actually, you know, it can, it's really challenging, especially at first, it's hard, right? So you have to practice so much, but if you keep at it, you'll get better and better. So the same is true for sports like soccer or basketball. I know some of you guys play soccer and basketball. So you have to learn the rules and the basics before you can really play your best. You can't just go straight up on the court and be like, I'm going to play this. You have to know the rules, right? And the basics and how to dribble and how to kick a ball. So you have to do the warm ups and the exercises. So, and that can be tough. Sometimes things that you try might start out pretty easy and then they get harder. So when that happens, you get frustrated. We all get frustrated, but you you don't quit, right? You have to keep going even when it gets tough. Remember that God is with you, whether you're practicing piano or learning soccer, he's also with you if you're going through something tough at home or at school. He is with you always, right? Mm -hmm. So let's take a minute. We, we've got most of our people who have done the memory verse today. So I'm, we're going to take a look at it real quick. And it says, let us not become tired of doing good. At the right time, we will gather a crop if we don't give up. Galatians 6, 9. I'm so proud of you guys for all uh, pretty much hanging in there with the Bible verse, um, you guys have done great. Uh, we, we basically have almost everybody. Oh, Carly and Stella, you don't know. Um, if you guys memorize the Bible verse and you have your parents posted on Facebook, I will let Rob slime me at the end of the month, right? And I don't want to get slimed unless everybody does it. So that means... Today, we have Carly and Stella who need to do it, and we also have Grayson and Carson who also need to do it. So, we're down to four people who need to do it. We only have two weeks left, so we're going to see if you can do it. I'll send out reminders to your parents, but that, you just need to remember the Bible verse, Galatians 6, 9, and it's pretty simple, so... I'm going to hand it off to Miss Courtney because I think she might have a cahoot for us. Do you have a cahoot? All right, let me. 
Do you want them muted or you want them all unmuted? It doesn't matter. Okay. Doesn't matter. You're echoing though. What? <laughs> you may need to mute one of yours. <laughs> okay. Uh, so if you have a device, we're going to play Kahoot. Uh oh, both of yours are named Welty. Okay, a little W. Okay. Thank you. What's the passcode? There you go. Okay, Ruben J told it. Kahoot, got it. There you go. Okay. Bob's okay. Get behind him. Get up. Get up. Woo. Three, eight, three, two, one, two, one. You're the first one in. Normally I'm back. Who's big feet? No one is. <laughs> the last because I just I'm changed my name. Get your chair forward. I want to talk to you. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh. Oh. I just want to talk to you. Thank 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 you. Okay, hold on, listen. Who's not in yet? Crafty baby. Everybody in? Oh, there's Stella. Stella, are you in? I'm in. You're muted. Are you muted? Oh, oh somebody's got your phone. I know. Am I waiting on Gentry and Joe? Is that it? I can't see the whole screen, but do you have Stella on there? No, I don't have Stella. She doesn't use her phone. Are you sure? I see her. Madison, Oh, Madison's doing it for you? Madison's doing it for you? Okay. Why did you say you Stella. Okay, we ready? Throw the Okay. Throw the Who did the man who could walk, walk as Peter and John for? And John for? Pay it money. What did the man who couldn't? The man who couldn't walk. What did he ask Peter and John for? He asked for candy. Home money, money, and a Tinder smart. I'd like some candy. Me too. My mom likes to eat it. Ask for the Tinder. Quick that. Ask for money. Ask for money. Ooh, Bracky and the lake. Ooh, Bracky, Bracky, baby. No, Bracky's gonna win. Dead of money. Of course. Gonna give you that. Let's go, children. Go. What did Peter and John give them? Yeah. I know this one. Good job. I'll be right back. They give him money, food and drink, the ability to walk for a new country. I got it wrong. Food and drink. We got it wrong. We got it wrong. I don't know. You got it wrong. The ability to walk. Oh, great. Oh, 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 dragon. Oh, 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 Woo! <laughs> How did the religious leader feel about Peter and John? Did you just want me to click on? Yes. How did they feel about them? They were angry. They were really angry. 
really angry. Remember they put him in jail. Now, Ricky, I hope you just listen to this Oh, sorry. Y'all well, well, should get this one right. Peter and John. Did they them? Did they throw them a party? Ruben depressed the number. They put them in today. Ruben decided to press this random number to run. Right? Still in the lead. I think it's here to say only seven. I think it's here to say that I just want to go. Jesus. Oh, this is wrong. Yeah, oh, got right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. After talking to Peter and John, what did the religious leaders decide to do? Send them on vacation, release them from prison, by <laughs> Would it be release them from prison or keep them in prison? Good job, guys. I said that before the dad. How many followers did Jesus have after being healed? Heal the man who couldn't walk. At the end of our story, how many followers did Jesus have? I need a head. I need a head. I need a head. I need a head. We'll have a special Zoom session where Rob will force slime all down me, and that will be not fun for me, but fun for Rob as well, and fun for you guys. So anyway, um, also Rob made me a video of all of you guys uh, no, that's doing the Bible verse in different ways. So I'm gonna post that on Facebook after this, and you guys will be able to see it. I'll be sure to tag your parents. So it looks. Good. I don't even know what the Bible is. That's all I got. Thanks. Bye, guys. See ya. See ya. Don't forget to.